Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about the Epic Mega Grants program. Yep, we have another recipient, and that program just kind of keeps giving and giving and giving. No matter what you think of Epic, Epic Game Store, Fortnite, and all that, as a game developer, you kind of have to appreciate Epic Games. They have done probably more for the game development community than any other individual company, and that's, that's saying a lot. So the most recent Epic Grant winner, and don't worry, we'll get over what an Epic Mega Grant is, and we'll also follow up on this company in general, is Unreal CLR. Now the cool thing is, I've already done a video about Unreal CLR, we'll get to that in just a few minutes, but uh, something epic just happened. Unreal CLR is an Epic Mega Grant recipient, thanks to Epic Games, Unreal Engine, specifically Ken Pimentel and Tim Sweeney Epic. Uh, thanks to N Community, for supporting the project since day one. Uh, that's just unreal, love you guys. So that is pretty awesome. The Unreal CLR group just got themselves an Epic Mega Grant. So if you're not a regular to this channel, you might be wondering what's an Epic Mega Grant? Well, an Epic Mega Grant is a program set up by Epic Games back at GDC 2019, also known as, oh, what was that? 30 years ago, uh, it was Epic Games committed $100 million to support game developers, enterprise professionals, media entertainment creators, students, educators, and tool developers doing amazing things with Unreal Engine or in the open source community for 3D graphics. And I think they've kind of gotten into 2D a little bit as well. So basically, if you're working in one of those industries, especially if you are working with Unreal Engine, but not necessarily because you are, um, you could get a grant. And the ones that have really, really shown up for us here are in the uh, tool developer segment here. We've got a lot of Epic grants there, even going so far as to give mega grants to competing game engines. And I'm starting to get the impression that Epic Games might be a game from scratch viewer because quite frankly, a lot of these mega grant recipients are programs that I feature or covered uh, first here on Game From Scratch. And that's awesome, by the way, if that is the case. So let's take a look at some of the companies that have gotten it. Raylib, excellent C++ project. Uh, it just got an Epic Mega Grant back in August. Uh, Cesium, which is a uh, way of bringing open world data into Unreal Engine, they just got one. Lighter, this is a 2D sprite uh, painting application. Really, really cool. I did a hands-on with Lighter in the past. It got a Mega Grant. Uh, Armor Paint, a uh, call this Substance Painter Alternative Open Source, same guy that made the Armory Game Engine. It got an Epic Mega Grant. Godot, as I mentioned, you don't even need to be directly, this is a direct competitor to Unreal Engine. Hey, they got a Mega Grant. They actually got a pretty sizable one. I think it was a quarter of a million bucks they got out of it. That was a big deal. Krita, the open source 2D painting application, it got a Mega Grant. Dust3D, a sort of non-standard open source 3D modeling application I featured on this channel. It got one. And then Epic Games started it all off by giving the Blender Foundation $1.2 million. So if you work with any of these softwares, if you work with uh, Blender or Godot, or specifically Blender and Godot, uh, you kind of owe a, a bit of thanks to Epic Games. Those investments make a huge difference on how these open source projects can continue. So the one we are talking about today is Unreal CLR. Now, Unreal. Unreal Engine, CLR is the common language runtime. Now this is basically a way to use C Sharp or theoretically other uh, .NET languages such as VB.NET if it still exists, F Sharp and so on. And you can use them to write your game logic for um, Unreal Engine in C Sharp. So uh, Unreal CLR is a plugin that natively integrates .NET host, here let me zoom this a little bit, uh, into the Unreal Engine with the common language runtime for direct execution of managed code to build a game application logic using the full power of C Sharp 9, F Sharp 5, and .NET uh, facilities with Engine API. The project is aimed at stability, performance, and maintainability. So you've got a hot uh, host loading integration and management during the lifetime of the engine, dynamic loading, unloading, isolation, and dependency resolving of user assemblies at runtime, on-the-fly access and execution of managed functionality through blueprints, runtime exception handling and tracing, continuously evolving framework, high-performance inter-op through optimized code and utilization of blittable data types, um, support of .NET facilities including hardware-accelerated math with transparent remapping to vector types of the engine, support of the .NET tools for uh, debugging and profiling such as JetBrains line, blah, 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 uh, full independence from compilation pipeline of assemblies and support for NuGet packages, analyzers, and generators, automatic project uh, packing for standalone distribution, carefully handcrafted source code for best maintainability and performance, extensive unit testing, distributed as a plugin, does not require rebuilding the engine, and that one is big. So basically, you can just hook it up as a plugin in uh, the Unreal Engine. You don't have to build Unreal Engine from code, which takes up like hours and uh, think about 120 gigabytes of your hard drive. So that one's nice. Um, 
and it's got documented source code. It is available under Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. A bit more details on working with it available here. The key things to be aware of is the license. The license is available under uh, the lesser GPL license. Uh, I think they had another option available, but I'm not 100% specific on that. 100% open source code. Code is available here in repository. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about Unreal CLR, I have uh, done uh, a hands-on article and a video on this in the past. Uh, so it kind of walks you through how to go ahead, create your project, um, add the, uh, the plugin into it, clone it down, get it to run, and then uh, integrate and use your own uh, C-sharp source code, like you see right here, to interface with Unreal Engine. So in a nutshell, what Unreal Engine CLR enables you to do is uh, code your game logic using C-sharp or F-sharp instead of Blueprints or C++. And the cool thing is it can actually integrate with Blueprints uh, support. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that want C-sharp support in Unreal Engine and Unreal CLR is probably the best way to get there. And the cool thing, once again, is it is implemented as a plugin. So you do not have to rebuild Unreal Engine, which again, opens up a giant amount of work for you. It's not really that hard. It's just time consuming and takes up a lot of space. So the fact that you can just add it as a plugin makes the process a lot simpler. Again, that uh, tutorial will walk you through getting started with it. If you are interested in learning more about Unreal CLR, also in that video uh, there, kind of walk through a bit more detail about Unreal CLR. So it is nice to see that they are an Unreal Epic Mega Grant recipient. Uh, good on you guys, good on Epic Games for running this Mega Grant program. And I pass the question on to you. Of all of the projects that exist out there, what makes sense to be the next Mega Grant recipient? I think they've gone through about 65 to 70 million of the pledged $100 million giveaway. So that means there's still $30 million out there for grabs. Uh, what uh, game development project do you think should be next and hopefully if someone at unreal engine is listening they'll read your comment down below and perhaps that uh project will be featured uh i, I personally thought that um uh material maker would be a good one uh next and they've actually talked and directly talked to tim sweeney uh and he just isn't looking for the money, so I guess that, that changes that. Uh, but th let me know if a project you think should be a good Maker Grant recipient. Comments down below, and uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you all later.